Hey, what's up everyone? In today's video, we're taking a look at how we can utilize AI or ChatGPT in order to make our SEO work or the way that we work with SEO a lot easier. So this is basically a way how we can um, make or streamline the process of creating good meta descriptions and title tags um, and usually the type of content that is very repetitive and usually have a lot of content to create. Uh, so we're going to take a look at different prompts that we can use. And I have this document which uh, someone shared on LinkedIn. I can't remember her name top of mind, but I'll put it somewhere here on the screen. Uh, so shout out to her for the document. Um, so we can utilize this document in order to get the best possible prompt to generate uh, the best possible content for our specific pages. So if you're struggling to create content, if you have a a uh, bunch of different pages on your website, maybe even thousands of different pages, then this is going to be a good way to kind of streamline that whole process and kind of minimize the amount of time and amount of work that you have to do uh, in terms of your uh, updating your titles or updating your meta descriptions uh, or whatever it could be in your case. Uh, so we're going to take a look at that today and I'll also have the link to the document somewhere here in the description so you can copy it and, and play around with the document yourself as well. Um, but yeah, I haven't talked a lot about AI and how AI has kind of changed the way that you can work with SEO. Um, and I've been kind of on the uh, fence uh, in terms of utilizing AI in terms of the, the content creation process, just making sure that I'm staying in line with what Google is going to eventually do as well. Uh, but now with Google releasing a lot of updates in terms of just changing the SERP features and creating their own version, uh, it's going to be interesting to see what actually happens with the search landscape. Uh, but it's been important to know that A or SEO will always be there. Uh, because basically how any any system or any platform works is that it has to be some sort of search system in order to find uh, what you're looking for. Now, if it's going to be through a chat system or if it's going to be through a search system, that will only t time will basically tell uh, at that point. Uh, but what we're looking at today is some general SEO prompts that I've been using uh, to kind of minimize the amount of time and the amount of work I have to spend on these uh, repetitive tasks. Now, SEO is a, a lot more than just content, but it, obviously content is going to be a big part of the work that you're going to do for your clients. Uh, so this prompt generator here is actually going to be super useful for actually finding and creating content. More, I mean, you're going to make it a lot quicker and it's going to be a lot easier for you to actually uh, generate the content that you need for your pages. Um, so how you use this document is basically you load it up, you make a copy of this document. Uh, I think you do it somewhere over here. Yes, just make a copy. And that way you can actually start editing uh, the, um, the prompts in here. Uh, but what we have in here is that we have an example specification here, uh, and then this is gonna generate a prompt down here. So we'll all pull the information that you put in here and we'll just uh, give you the exact prompt. You can just copy and paste directly into ChatGPT and then you will get your uh, meta description or your title tag, whatever it is. As uh, so already set it up here, so create a meta description uh, to be featured on a page webinar, uh, descriptive in English, relevant, engaging, following SEO best practices of no more than 160 characters each, potential customers at an ongoing basis to engage the audience and rank better in search results. Um, so if we wanted to try this prompt, we can basically just copy the prompt down here paste it into ChatGPT, and then let's see what we get. Now, I'm not using my normal account here because I didn't want to show all my previous work, uh, but I think uh, this version should work fine. So now we get some examples of meta descriptions we can use. So join our informative webinars to gain valuable insights, tips, and strategies. Discover how, how our solutions can empower your business uh, success. Register now. So we have all these meta descriptions in basically a second. And what I usually did before utilizing AI is that I manually wrote all these meta descriptions. And I mean, it's a, it just takes too much time. And in the end, meta description is not even gonna be a ranking factor. Yes, it can improve your uh, uh, click-through rate from, from, from the SERPs, uh, but the meta descriptions are not that important. So, I mean, I wouldn't really mind just using AI uh, to, to implement some sort of meta description at least. Um, and what we can also do here is that we can continue to talk to ChatGPT uh, and ask it to include, include certain uh, keywords as well. So if we were targeting 
in this case, if we're targeting a specific keyword for that page, we might want to include that keyword in the meta description as well, just so we can kind of get that bold um, or get get the keyword highlighted in the in the search results as well. And um, so we can kind of play around and just change what we are putting into uh, into the to, into the document here, and that would just update the prompt as well and just you can really make it specific to your case uh, but the idea here is that you don't really have to make that many changes so if we were creating a meta description again but it was going to be featured on a different page so a page um, about let's say coffee in new york that would update the prompt that we can copy down here. So create a meta description to be featured on a page about coffee in New York. The characteristics to take into account are following, bum, 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 bum. And then we can just copy this again, paste it in here. And I think there's nothing else related to webinars in here. No, okay. So just copy that in. Experience the rich uh, coffee culture of New York. Discover the best coffee shops, blends and flavors. Indulging in the perfect cup of joe today. So as you can see, it's like perfect. I mean, these meta descriptions are way better than the ones I would have uh, written, 100%. Uh, now, you might want to make sure that you just read through this. I wouldn't necessarily just copy and paste them directly onto your website and onto your pages. Obviously, make sure that you read through these meta descriptions first uh, and make sure that they kind of sound natural in a way and also fits your, your business or your branding, which is going to be a super important part when you are updating your meta descriptions as well. Um, but yeah, that's kind of how you can play around with it as well. Uh, we can also change the language in here if we wanted to. So if I wanted to have this meta description in Swedish, I could just change it to Swedish here. And now ChatGPT should give me meta descriptions in Swedish. Now ChatGPT is not 100% in other languages or, or I mean, I've only tried the Swedish, which is the only other language I know. Um, and in Swedish, it's, it's not the best yet, uh, but it definitely works. So I think it's even worse now because it's not uh, the latest version, uh, it seems like. Yeah, it's definitely it's definitely not doing the best work right here. Uh, but what, we, what obviously what you can do is just use any language and then you'll have to manually read through it and just make sure uh, that it actually sounds natural and it, there's no issues with the, with how the text actually reads. Now jumping over to the next prompt here as well. So your example two prompt specification. So this one kind of goes more into depth. So create a hub and spoke model for a list of these keywords taking in search intent. And this is this is straight copied from the person who shared this document. I haven't even changed this version. Uh, so shout out to her again. I'll put her name some, somewhere here on the screen. Uh, but yeah, create a hub uh, spoke model list of these keywords taking into search intent, consideration, group them, remote work. Uh, remote work Spain, remote work USA, blah, 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 to be used to structure a remote work site resource section. The hub spoke, da, 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 and it goes on and on and on. So if you use this, you can kind of use it to create your uh, content hubs on your website, help you structure your website. You can have it generate, uh, generate ideas uh, for articles on your website. It can even help you uh, generate subcategories. If you're running an e-commerce website, you can have it uh, generate your subcategories for your websites directly uh, with the prompts as well. Now, as I'm not on the latest version of ChatGPT, I won't be able to pull uh, the latest uh, data in terms of search volume on here. So I wouldn't necessarily try it unless you have the premium version. So do upgrade and use the latest version if you want to use uh, ChatGPT for, for keyword research as well, because uh, that is also something that I've been doing as well. Another thing you can do is use ChatGPT for your FAQ answers. So you can just specify it in here. So instead of creating a meta description, you can write um, answer this question, uh, bum, bum, bum. And then you can just copy the prompt and then use it again. And then that way you can make or streamline the whole process of creating content. Now, some final things I want to mention here uh, before I end this video, which is recorded in, in one setting. So hopefully um, I explain everything well and you kind of understand the idea here. Uh, but when you're using AI and ChatGPT, don't use it for any type of business. So, I mean, if you're if you're talking about medical stuff, I wouldn't necessarily use ChatGPT because you, you're going to want to follow EAT anyway. 
um, which means that you want to have the, the right or the correct experience in order to speak about those specific topics. Or it could also have to do with, uh, with money or finance or anything like that. You want to make sure you have the right experience to talk about those topics because otherwise you won't be able to rank anyway because Google is really going to make sure to take into account your actual experience um, on these topics in order to be able to rank. Because imagine if you just generate an answer through ChatGPT on how to cure some specific disease and then that is just totally incorrect and that person who is sick reading your article actually takes that as fact and then use use your tips or whatever you're talking about in your article that might potentially lead to, to some really bad things and that is the reason why i couldn't necessarily rank for a medical term because i have no experience i have no idea how to deal with medical things so make sure you're using ai in in a in a, in a good way in an ethical way uh, and always make sure to at least specify it on the website somewhere i usually do it as well if there's a big chunk of the page is actually generated by ai just be honest with it and mention it somewhere throughout the website uh, but that is basically gonna be it for this document uh, i'll leave it in the description so you guys can check it out as well so if you want to have a look you can and um, if you have any other ways you're working with ai leave it in the comments i'm i'm really curious on how people in seo people in general are using ai uh, to make their work more efficient than before and apologize in advance for my haircut i really need to go to the barber so let's end this video right here and if you enjoy please make sure to leave a like down below if you aren't subscribed already make sure to subscribe and if you want to work with me and hire me for your seo projects i do run an a uh, seo agency you can contact me through the email i think it will be in the description or the link in the description or you can book a meeting with me and we can discuss your project more in detail uh, but that's it for this video. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.